Welcome to the video on how to use GSB to make a natural gas system. It turns out natural gas systems are incredibly easy to make using GSB, although if you use the methodology that will shortly be in the members only section of crude oil, crude oil will actually give you superior metrics. However, crude oil requires enormously higher CPU iterations compared to natural gas to make. So I'm using natural gas 30 minutes for your primary data field and your secondary data I'm using for 60 minutes. There's a few minor tweaks in the settings since the crude oil. And I've got this running on GSB Cloud. We've now been running for an hour and a half and I'm going to stop GSB. And we're going to look at the amount of systems we've had. We've got 250 unique systems. And the performance metrics are fairly tight, so that's why we're probably getting so few systems. I'm going to sort by net profit and look at the highest one there. Again, good equity curve, reasonable metrics. So I'm going to walk for that one. This one here, similar performance, a little bit less drawdown little bit higher profit factor so I'll walk forward that one then I'm going to choose some with a peak profit factor I'm just going to double check the settings because I'm they're looking like it's a hundred thousand is the minimum that I've set that to. Oh, that is 60. All right. So I'll probably pick, uh, in fact, this one here looks nice. It's got a net profit drawdown ratio of 31, which is a lot higher than the others. So I'll walk forward that one there. Then I'm going to pick a few of the ones that have got the highest net profit drawdown ratio here and I'm going to pick one of the highest fitness which we've already done by the looks of that so I'll maybe choose this one here no, I don't like that curve it's a bit flat uh, too many periods there so look I'll Unless I see one that grabs me. All right, that one there. Some more cloud servers came online, so we're actually peaking 115,000 systems a minute, but that only happened a few minutes ago. So anyway, I'll stop the processing there. Then we have a lot of systems that we'll walk forward in. When I click on this tab here, so that's probably going to take an hour or something like that, and we'll come back to the video once that's finished. Now, a bit under three hours later, on a slower i7 computer, we have finished all the results of the walk forward test. The first one is interesting. I really like the performance metrics. The stability is 56, which is still great, but it's particularly interesting that the equity curves are almost identical, but the parameters obviously aren't. Now, to me, this implies that even though the parameters are different, they're not actually significant in the difference that they make in the trading system. And if we look here, you can see that one has changed from a 28 to a 25, and it was 25 earlier on a bit. The others are all the same. And the secondary filter offset, which has gone from 63 to 65, it's varying a little bit. And the entry offset, which has gone from 2,000 to 500 to 2,000. And again, that's a particularly insensitive parameter. So I really like that particular system that I've seen here. 
I've been asked by users to explain a little bit why I'm concerned about some parameters and less concerned about others. This here is the oversimplified GSB code. Five oscillators in this case that have been multiplied together. So the first one we can see is a 28, is a Bollinger band with uh, 25 in the end of it. Uh, and it's got alternating between 25 and 28. And that won't make a big difference in results if you change a parameter from 25 to 28 typically. However, the next one, the standard deviations in the Bollinger Band, if we went from 1 to 2 or 1 to 1.8, that would make a very big difference in the results. And I would be concerned about that. The next one, RSI 21, we can see is consistently the same variable. The 145, the highest high, it sometimes has been 148, sometimes 145, but again, that will make very little difference. The 25 there is a decycler, the 25, 115, and that's been very stable too. Other variables here are weightings, which were not even varying at all. Now, again, another variable that I said I'm not concerned about is the entry offset which is 2000 here. Now these variables in the oscillators are normalized from minus 100 to plus 100. So that gives us a maximum of 10 million when you multiply them all together and minus 10 million. So that could be the range that result is. And we are saying if result is greater than 2000. So if it's greater than 500, or greater than 2000, again, it's not really going to be significant because the scale of those numbers goes from minus 10 million to plus 10 million. Now, the other variable I'm not concerned about if there's a tiny bit of variation is a secondary filter. You can see how it's gone from 63 to 65 to 63. It varies a little bit between them. Secondary filter tends to be very robust and not terribly sensitive to small variations. Hope that explanation helps a bit. The next one again, great performance metrics. 143,000, 6K drawdown, profit factor of nearly three. This one here, stability of 70, again, fairly good metrics. This one here, a anchored stability of 86, a nice and high profit factor and a nice drawdown. So I really like that system there. And I may even put that one in the private forum for GSB purchases. This one here, again, great results. The anchored stability is significantly lower. It's still OK, and I'd prefer something that's a bit higher. But again, results are 74, 74, 76, 11 and 12. So again, this one here has very little difference in the system. So even though the results are a little bit lower, that's partially been thrown out by changing from a 74 to a 76 and an 11 to a 12, which probably in itself doesn't make any significant difference in the system. Here we have one of 36. Again, good results. A nice and high 76. Higher drawdown. A 90. Again, beautiful performance metrics. So again, I like that system there. High profit factor, low drawdown, and again, there's no stop on the system whatsoever. And one with 64. And again, you can see how close those equity curves are. So even though the parameters are not 100% the same, it's going from a 35 to a 30, and a 90 and 70, it's fluctuating a little bit there. They're not actually making a big difference. But that's, uh, that's still uh, a great looking system. So I think that initial test of the 60 minute, or sorry, 30 minute and 60 minute natural gas system has been extremely successful. 
we are now going to look at some of the advanced methods of making natural gas systems. I am only at the beginning of my journey on improving natural gas and eventually this material will all make it to the private forum section but at this stage I'll give you a sneak preview of what can be done. After some changes in how I've been doing things and a lot of CPU time I'm observing that I'm getting parameter stability of up to 100% which is as good as it gets and we'll go through a few of the systems now. Also the performance metrics have significantly improved. So this is sorted by anchored parameter stability going from the most stable to the least stable and you can see phenomenal profit of 200,000 with only 4,400 drawdown and there's no stop in that system at all and the net profit to drawdown ratio is 45 which is particularly high. There is no slippage in commission but regardless the stats are good. This one here a nicer profit factor of 3.23 even though these stats aren't quite as good. This one here I love because tiny drawdown, reasonable profit, and a nice fat profit factor of 4.54. Very high drawdown in the beginning, so I wouldn't like that system for that reason. Well, that's reasonable, 195,000 for 8k drawdown. Again, these drawdowns might reduce when you add a stop. This one here is pretty reasonable, 175k for 4k drawdown. So I'll just step through a few systems that you can look at each one as we're going along. Again, I like that one because the profit effect is nice and high. And a lot of natural gas systems are typically making new highs at the moment, which is always a, a nice time psychologically to start. Not that that guarantees that that will continue, but natural gas tends to be a fairly consistently profitable market, more so than most others. Again, beautiful curves. That's getting pretty low down to 34 and I'll have a look at the individual parameters and that's 1 and that's 7, 2, see 28, 29, it stuff all difference between a 28 and a 29. I guess it's at this point here where it's changed from a 1.5 to a 2.5 is a significant change. So again this is acceptable and it's tradable but when I can choose systems that have got just as good metrics or even better and they have the higher anchored parameter stability I'm going to have a bias going towards those systems. Hope you enjoyed this video feel free to hit the like button and if you want to try GSB simply log into the forum and download a free 14 day trial. There will be more goodies in the members only section on crude oil as well to come. Thanks for watching. Bye.